Hello, today I have a review for you of a molten arc conversion. So arc, who I did the video on the Brompton conversion, I'll link to that below if you want to see it, also convert moltens. Now moltens are a fascinating bike, they're a British uh, company and uh, so it's a good match because both Arc and Molten are very much into design and engineering really high quality products. So I'm really looking forward to getting to ride a Molten. I'll tell you all about them if you're not familiar. And we are today riding in the beautiful Cotswolds. Going to go through some gorgeous villages, have some nice coffee, go up some hills and see how the Molten rides. So just to start with, the Molten a lot of people think is a foldable bike. It's not. Its special thing is it comes in half quite easily. There's a central pin and that's what how you unhook it and so now it fits into my smart car very nicely with just enough room for the Brompton because Nathan is here today to help film the bike so you guys can get a good look at it in action while I ride it. Um, so yeah, just if you're wondering where the rest of the bike is, uh, we had to put it in the front. So we were just able to squeeze the two bikes into the smart car. Putting the bike back together is so easy. You hook the two halves together, you screw them tight with this knob here, then you put the central pin in, tighten that, and then you connect the gearing, brakes, and electrics. So here are the electrics that are installed. Then, yeah, the gearing and brakes are super easy to reconnect. This screw here helps you do that really quickly. And then turn it on with either the fob or the remote, and you're ready to go. We are going on a 50K loop, which is really pushing the batteries. So we both have two batteries. I have a four amp and a six amp. Nathan has the Brompton Electric with two Brompton Electric batteries. Oh. So hopefully we'll have enough battery range, but we're going to have to be economical. Which is why we're dressed sort of more in proper cycling kit today, like proper road cycling kit. Probably be putting some effort in as we try to be economical with the batteries. Um, and it's a bit of a dreary day, but even though it's the 28th of October, it's mid-teens, so it's quite warm. So trying to dress for today's a bit difficult i'm gonna be honest <laughs> right now i am freezing but i know once i get moving i'll be a bit warmer you can see nathan he's got his castelli on um, and that kit covers a wide range of temperatures so he should be okay like i said um so i've got a battery here and luckily there's a holder here on this bike that holds a secondary battery and nathan's got the bronto electric and he's got the second battery in the bag on the back so we are ready we need to get going because we are freezing <laughs> Oh my god, how cute is that? We have to go over that bridge, don't we? I need to learn the launch control. I'm going to show you a special feature on the ARC conversion. It's called launch control. And what it does is it gives you full power off the start for three seconds, which is really handy on a hill start or if you're at the front of a set of lights and you just have some cars behind you and you just want to get off quickly. I tried to use it in the Cotswolds for some hill starts, but I'm right foot dominated, which means I push off with my right foot. The sensor on the art conversion is on the left pedal. Lucky for us, Nathan is left foot dominated, so that's why I roped him into demonstrating for you. When he puts both brakes on full, there you see the lights change. When he puts pressure on the left pedal, you'll see them change again, and that's launch control ready to go. It'll give you full power for three seconds off the start. So it senses when you're putting pressure down on that pedal. The other way you can tell if launch control is ready is on the battery. So when Nathan puts the brakes on, the amber light is going to flash. When he puts his foot on the pedal, it will go solid. So there's two ways to tell when launch control is ready for you. Engage. range on a battery and weight is the main one so because we're trying to conserve Nathan is uh, way behind me because he weighs a lot more than me um, yeah and he's on the Brompton with uh, a hill behind us so he's catching up it's a long climb this one and uh, the Brompton gearing you know is for climbing I'll show you so it goes on a bit this one We 
hit our second village, Stow on the Wold. As you can see, it's a very twee, beautiful village, but look at that, my favorite fudge. So we've discovered Rollies, which has my very favorite fudge of all, salted maple pecan. I'm Canadian, I can't not have the maple one. Moultons are a British-made bike based in Bradford-upon-Avon. They've been around since the 1960s and Moulton has always made small wheel bikes. This bike, the TSR model, uses the AM space frame released in the 1980s and it's what makes Moultons so recognisable. Nathan's verdict is he doesn't think Brompton should be going down there. But I've taken it on a single track. Can't That's... handle it? <laughs> Pretty rough on a Brompton. Yeah, no. Pretty nice with my suspension. A little tidbit for all of you Jane Austen fans out there. She visited this place, which is Adelstrop, a few times when her uncle was rector here. And it's thought that Adelstrop House and Park are the um, inspiration for Mansfield Park. So we're gonna ride through on another single track. Sorry, Nathan. Oh, it's so deep. That side. What? It's not the. Bu oh, I'm just sinking into the mud. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> the model I'm riding, the TRS, is the entry level Molten. It uses Shimano's 8 speed Alfine internal hub gearing. It has flat handlebars, so it's probably more common for Moultons to be seen with drop bars, and the frame is steel with rim brakes. But Moultons are also configured with SRAM, Campionalgo, Shimano 105, and due to the geometry of this bike, it's a great option for those who struggle to find a road bike small enough for them. But equally, someone like Nathan, who's six foot tall, can also comfortably ride it. Make sure you don't put the same one back on. Thanks. <laughs> top tip, top tip. Top tip. Bounce. Simple as that. Just in time for the hill. lunch in Burford and it's quite a lot larger and really busy so we were coming down this lovely country lane and boom all this busyness but the good news is we had lunch at Linwood Cafe it was an amazing toasty and probably one of the best flat whites and coffees we've had in ages yeah I would say so definitely yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely recommend it about the bike so far the art conversion I've used on the Brompton so I had high expectations and just like the system on the Brompton, this system, which is the same system, is amazing. Smooth ramp up. I am conserving battery, so um, I've been staying in to about two bars, sometimes three bars. And uh, yeah, I made it 29 kilometers on the smaller battery, the first one, the four amp, and now I'm on the six amp. And um, I have plenty of battery to get me back to where we're going. And so yeah, the ramp up smooth. The thing that's different about the molten conversion to the Brompton though, is it's nearly silent so because the wheel is a 20 inch wheel and the Brompton is a 16 inch wheel um, I did ask Ark was I imagining it was quieter because it's so it's just silent and they said because the wheels bigger they're able to use a thicker casing on the motor so it's brilliant you're just gliding along forgetting you're having any assist and then your battery goes and you're like yeah there's some assist <laughs> so enjoying the Molten and the Molten itself the suspension has proven you know um, to be amazing I'm really enjoying it um, the front suspension you can adjust so Nathan's ridden this bike and he felt it was a bit soft so you can adjust the suspension to your liking I like it the way it is but I'm not as heavy as Nathan um, there's also a suspension block on the back so it helps with um, the vibrations in the rear so it is a full suspension road bike which is what makes it different than any other bike out there According to Garmin, this is the last climb of the ride. We have 
10k to go. Nathan has been very economical with his Brompton batteries, just switched to the second one. And uh, so now we can blast up this hill as fast as we want. The road took a turn onto a dirt track, so we're doing some gravel riding. I think we're lucky it's dry. I knew it said there is 4k of single track. Well, we found where the other uh, 2.5k is. So this, this is 3k of off-road riding, which on this Molten is amazing. The suspension really does work. It's fantastic. Nathan on the Brompton. Brompton is not a good off-roading bike. So this is what on Kamut is a touring route and it will put you on dirt roads to avoid main roads for the gravel routes on Kamut, which um, I just keep an eye on how many kilometers are, you know, not paved. And this is actually a pretty good surface. We're about to go up on some grassy bits now. So a little adventure for the very end of the ride. So you're going to survive the next two and a half K? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Pavement. Just. Now you got it. Now, you, now we have to fit me. First off, a big thank you to Arc for letting me test ride their molten conversion. Moltons are such a fun bike to ride, and with the electric assist, it's even more fun. Um, the suspension just makes it so comfortable, so much fun to ride. If you end up on an off-road patch, then it's no big deal. It's pretty comfortable. Now, a lot of people in my posting photos of the Molten on my Instagram account have asked me how it compares to a Brompton. In reality, they are two different bikes solving two different problems. They're different geometry, so they're really not comparable. Having said that, um, the Moltons have a 20 inch wheel versus the 16 inch on the Brompton. And because of the geometry, the handlebars do have a stem, unlike the Brompton. So those two things combined make the Molten less twitchy than the Brompton. The um, Molten also has suspension. Um, the, the Brompton does technically have a block in the back to help absorb some uh, road bumps, but it's not like the suspension on the Molten, which makes a noticeable difference. They're just two different brakes and they're solving two different problems. While they're both transportable because the Molten comes in half and is easily put into a trunk or a large suitcase, it doesn't fold down the way the Brompton does for multimodal travel because you need a bag to put it in. You need somewhere to put the bag on the other end. So it's a little less convenient that way. Um, and the Molten is a road bike. It's built to be a road bike. It's built to be fast. Whereas Bromptons are made for getting around cities. So if you want to convert your beloved Molten into an electric assist bike, our you know, they have quality engineering. You will be really happy with the results and it's in safe hands and they do warranty all their conversions. So it's a great option. Arc sell the full bike with the assist uh, on their website. You can go check it out. They've also given me a discount code for you guys for 5% off if you want to buy one. Um, so yeah, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching. Until the next video.